update to the breaking news we brought you yesterday. Police have identified the man arrested in that deadly bus shooting in Fort Lauderdale. There's a bus going the wrong way on the eastbound lane. I almost ran into me and a lot of cars. And we are just now hearing the calls for help from stunned drivers. That chaotic scene ending right in front of the Fort Lauderdale Police Station. Two people are dead, and now we're learning new details about the man at the center of it all. Local 10's Amy Viteri is live with more. Amy. Well, just within the last half hour, we were able to get a copy of the arrest affidavit in this case, shedding new light on exactly what happened inside that bus. A police officer describing hearing several shots from the bus, even after it stopped right in front of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. According to investigators, the suspect in this case, Jamal Myers, fired 12 shots from a semi-automatic handgun at terrified passengers on board. He then reloaded and fired nine more shots, ultimately hitting four people, killing two of them. Police say the man responsible for the terrifying and deadly shootings inside a Broward County bus is 34 year old Jamal Myers. Surveillance video from Thursday shows the bus barreling the wrong way down Broward Boulevard. The bus driver in, in this particular case, her quick actions, I am sure, saved lives. The bus driver crashing into a white Mercedes and a taxi before maneuvering into the Fort Lauderdale police parking lot. Cell phone video provided to Local 10 showing the immediate aftermath. Police appearing to point a gun at a man on the ground in front of the bus as terrified passengers quickly rush off. We had an officer on an unrelated call in front of the police station. He too heard several gunshots coming from within the bus. The officer came out to investigate. The suspect that was inside of the bus stepped out and surrendered to the officer. Police say Myers shot four people on that bus. Two did not survive. Why he allegedly opened fire is not clear, but Local 10 learned Myers has an extensive criminal history. Arrested 21 times in Broward County, the state flagged him as a habitual felony offender in 2019. Yet he went on to be arrested several more times that year and was out on probation when this shooting happened. Certainly it is disturbing that this individual was an habitual offender and was just released at all of these um, priors and was released into the community. Defense attorney Eric Schwartzreich has not represented Jamal Myers, but says several factors can influence how much time, if any, a defendant serves. It's very devastating and sometimes, you know, they say three strikes are out, but sometimes it's six or, or seven strikes. It's not a, a perfect system. And police say Myers surrendered to their custody without any sort of incident, but they say he did complain of chest pains at that time and was taken away for treatment. Myers was due to appear before a judge today in court, but according to his lawyer, that had to be postponed because of medical issues. For now, he does remain in custody. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.